Welcome to Anoka High School for CTN's live coverage of Boys High School Basketball. It's a conference and section matchup between two teams that know each other very well. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro sidelines, and Howie, the story is very similar for these two teams. Coon Rapids has played one extra game. They have one extra win, four and six versus three and six. Both teams coming in off of three game uh, losing streaks with one of those games being by a handy margin and the other two by just a couple. Yeah, it's going to be fun contest tonight. Both teams have a lot of skin in this game because it's a co it's a section game. And so obviously both teams want to win. Cardinals score more points. They don't play as well defensively. Anoka doesn't score like Coon Rapids does, but they may play a little better defense than the Cardinals. So it'll come down to say really who plays better defense, I think. Well, and it may come down to just who wants it more. That was the question that Coach Jesse Jefferson of the Anoka Tornadoes uh, posed to us. He said it's that's what it will really come down to. He's got a couple of guys at the top of his roster that can definitely fill the basket. And they have size. They are going to have the size advantage over the Cardinals. They're led by 6'7", Reagan Reeder. He averages a little over 12 points a game and over 10 rebounds per contest. He's a great athlete. He's going to Illinois on a baseball scholarship. Cardinals don't have that kind of size. So it's going to be a battle to see how they contain him and how they battle. Boards are going to be really important tonight. Well, and Trey Bowers is averaging a little bit over 13 and a half a game. So those two definitely the Cardinals will need to pick up the defense on. On the other side for Coon Rapids, every team knows you've got to stop number two. But Jerry Freeman has emerged as a very intricate part of this offense, a key piece at the point. Jerry's averaging almost 10 points a game and almost five rebounds per game. Four assists and a little over two steals. He, you know, we, as you mentioned, we know that uh, C squared is going to light it up, but they need other players to contribute offensively. Plus, he's a good defender. Well, and the great thing about him is he is able to distribute very well to guys other than Cummings Coleman. Correct. The two coaching staffs that know each other very well, two coaches who have a, a long friendship and rivalry, and two teams whose rivalry goes back to the 60s. Yeah, of course, head coach Jesse Jefferson coached for, with, I should say, uh, and for Michael Gork at Coon Rapids. So this is his second year as head coach at Anoka. Reader gets up and gets the tip. Not a huge surprise. Peyton Podani gets it ahead for Chris Cooper. Pass on the left side, batted away out of bounds by Jerry Freeman. Yeah, we talked about the Cardinals, their fifth. Uh, fifth overall in scoring, but they're dead last. 64 out of 64 teams in defense. Coach O says, you know, it's going to come down tonight. We're going to play, we're going to need to play solid structure defense. Cooper pressured by Young up top, gets it across for Padani. Padani into the corner, high pass brought down by Pra, gets it back from him. Donald Pra on the left side up top. Cooper had it knocked away, came right back to him. No one can secure, and now. Cummings Coleman able to scoop it up for the Cardinals. Trying to get around the defensive Cooper. Cardinals on their first offensive possession. Freeman will take the long two pointer and he'll get it to rattle around and down. Again, just a nice job. Create a little space for himself behind the free throw line, able to drop it. Got a little help with the rim and the basket, then the backboard, but he'll take it any chance you get it. Young got a hand in on the pass, knocked it away out of bounds. Yeah, not, just nobody there out there to, to guard him. He's able to get that clean look. Pra long three-pointer is good, and Anoka takes the lead. Now Pra averaging about six points a game, almost a turnover. Cummings Coleman trying to find room against Cooper, forces it out to Young. Gets it to Hatworth, long three-pointer. That's off the back iron, the rebound by Reeder. Yeah, I think, you know, rebound's going to be really important. Nice steal by Hetwer. Cummings Coleman fakes the give, will take the three himself. That comes up short. The rebound for Cooper by Anoka. Or by Cooper for Anoka. One of the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 50 shot, 50 50 shot. <laughs> Finding some room for a three as Padani out of the near corner. And back-to-back -back threes. And you're seeing Anoka trying to do a little pressure defense as well. Trouble, Coon Rapids taking out the ball. 
Good support from their fans. Cummings Coleman can't find a way through. Lost to shoe in the effort. Numbers down the court. The ball won't fall for Borchers. And then the foul underneath. And it'll be two shots for Donald Prop. I think they called that one on uh, the Connor Jordan getting the start tonight for the Cardinals. The junior. Fry able to hit the first. When defense, something that Coach Ogorek has stressed heavily in his tenure with the Cardinals and a foul underneath is going to go against Reagan Reader. Yeah, against the big man. A little bit of a push to get position. You know, Coach Jefferson said, you know, we have to use our, utilize our size because they do have better size than the Cardinals. And, and that's going to be a key success for them if they're going to get the W here tonight. Freeman kicks it out. Young, an open look for three. That's in and out. Freeman has the rebound and puts it home. Jerry Freeman has all four points so far for Coon Rapids. Pratt, another open look, another three-pointer. They're doing a good job on rotation, getting the ball to the outside on the perimeter. Cummings Coleman races down. The scoop won't fall. The rebound by Cooper. The tornado's on the run. Padani for three. This time it won't go. Cummings Coleman has the rebound. He wants to put it into overdrive again, and this time gets it home off the glass. Coach Jefferson said, you know, we, we know. We know what uh, Kai John Cummings Coleman is going to do, and uh, we have to limit him. We're not going to stop him, but we have to limit him. We have to hold him below his average. Reader in the post, kicks it out. Pra, another three-point, won't fall. Borchers, the putback. And it's 12-6 in yeah. favor of the home yeah, squad. Just back, bad backside defense for the Cardinals allows them just to get that look on the miss and put it in. Driving Cummings Coleman comes up empty. Reader had the rebound, batted away out of bounds by Cummings Coleman. There you see that uh, Borcher doing a nice job of uh, sneaking in back door and getting the rebound in the bucket. Ibekwe steps in, back out to Pra in the left corner. Cross court, Borchers for three. That's not going to go. Hetler an easy rebound. Gets it ahead for Cummings Coleman. Into Jordan in the post, kicks it back out. Freeman for three, that's short. Reader has position, has the board. Tornadoes push the tempo. And Jordan's gonna pick up another one quickly. Yeah. And this time it will send Affy Ibekwe to the free throw line. It was a nice move, try to get the underneath look and Jordan's got the foul, that's his second. He's, he's got some size too, he's 6'5". In and out for Ibekwe on the first. We see Smith and Jones checking in. Beckway able to hit the second, make it a seven point lead. Cummings Coleman trying to shake Beckway, drives. Reagan Reader took a lot of contact, but no whistle. Numbers the other way. And the bucket for Pra behind the defense. That's what Coach O was talking to me about. Says we got to get, we got to do better getting on the back end and getting back defensively. That you saw Anoka took advantage of that, beat the numbers down, and got the bucket. Well, and they have pushed the tempo and, and gotten behind the defense a lot already. Breakaway and the double-handed dunk for Reagan Reader. 11-point lead for Anoka, 13-10. 
remaining in the first half. And Coach O'Gork is going to call a timeout here with uh, his team on the wrong end of a 17-6 score. Again, just a nice turnover there. And Reeder's going to take the length of the court. Flush for the bucket. Reeder's first points of the night, and he was excited about it. His team off to a great start, up by 11. Three three-pointers in the contest already for the Tornadoes. Clearly came in ready to play in the first five minutes. Yeah, and we have a great crowd here tonight, and it's uh, it's loud, and uh, it, it's definitely, uh, you can hear the excitement in here for, from those Anoka fans whose squad leads by 11. Jackson Young sets up right side. Pass by Neopan, got away to the back court, and we're gonna have a foul before the shot. They call those Jibinor will draw the contact from Smith. Yep. So that, that is the, his first team third. Borchers pass deflected out of bounds by Neopan. Now Coach Cho is trying to write, really look for that best defensive lineup that he can put in here tonight. Polk free by Young. Neopan had it. Jones will carry up four. Stop up looking for help. Gets it to Jackson Young. Little fadeaway shot will fall. The rebound by Padani. It was like a back shoulder pass yeah. to Jib Jibinor. Cardinals able to pry it free, get back on the offensive end. Nia Panai on the right side. Getting the pick, trying to get it into Smith, and he does. The shot's not going to go. Jones had the rebound momentarily. Nia Pan back to Young for three. That's going to be short. And we're going to get a foul. No, I believe, I believe, I think that ball hit the... Uh, Hit the uh, brace on the basket, so oh. they just, yeah. Okay. So we'll consider that an out of bounds, and possession goes over to Anoka. The back way will take it back from Padani. And Jackson Young called for the bump in the backcourt. You want to be aggressive on defense, slow their roll at least as best you can, but. I don't know. I thought I thought that's that's one they probably should have just let go. I think Jackson Young thought the same. Yeah, no, I I, I get it. Padani guarded by Young in the backcourt. Will get across, dump it into the corner for Borchers. Brings it back up top. His pass deflected by Jones, but right to Ibeque. Ibeque. And then a Smith. foul is going to go against Smith. He's got two quick ones. Yeah, both Jordan, you know, Jordan and Smith now with two quick fouls here. Team fifth. Anoka's just, you know, playing a really nice uh, start to this basketball game. They're, they're playing, for the most part, mistake-free basketball. Only one foul on the Tornadoes here early on. And the Cardinals uh, are close. They're, they're five already. Borchers in the corner, pressured by Nia Penn, spins to the baseline. More pressure there from Jones. Jones is able to get the steal. Support comes from Hetwer. He comes up with the ball. Hetwer inside, Nia Penn against Borchers. He's blocked. Borchers comes away with the basketball to the other end, drops it off. Ibekwe had it punched free by Jones. And Young on the run for Coon Rapids. Tried to spin, locked it off, to, off his shoe. And then Young's going to get called for the reach-in on Jibinor headed to the other end. And that's two on Jackson Young. So six fouls equally divided between three players. Yeah, that, that's, that's a tough situation for the Cardinals to start off in this, uh, in this way. Saw Jerry Freeman checking yep. back in. Is 
Danny into the front court. Goes to the right side, drives the foul, drops the bucket. Will go to the line for a three-point play. Yeah, this game it couldn't have started any worse for Coon Rapids. Again, make a nice move, get around the defense. There you see the, the foul. That's the seventh team foul, so we'll be in the bonus situation for the rest of this, this half, which is a lot of time remaining to be in that bonus situation. Padani makes it a 20 to six lead for Anoka. Freeman's pass taken away by Reeder. Reeder running on the break, trying to dunk on Cummings Coleman. He'll foul instead and send Reeder to the line and shoot two. Team foul number eight for Coon Rapids. Reeder looking for his second dunk of the night. Able to get the roll. Got the home roll. Head coach Micah Gork trying to figure things out on what his team can do to dig out of this hole early on. 11 unanswered points for the Anoka Tornadoes. Cummings Coleman going to work against Cooper. Drops back. Three-pointer is off the mark. Tries to fly in for his own rebound. And he's going to get called for the offensive foul for coming in out of control. Let's take another look at that as he stepped back for the three. Kind of ran into his, his, own, his own man. Yeah. Took the hardest uh, contact to be certain. Elijah Tablo will get his first PT of the night. Uh, Jackson Young will come back in as well, playing with his two personals. So a one and one opportunity, nine fouls. Yeah, this early in the game. Not that, even halfway the through half. the first half. Number nine, number nine. Number nine, number nine. Borchers hits the first, earns the second. He's their leading scorer, just two points so far in the game. Able to double it from the strike. And it's a 17 point Anoka lead. Pra back in for the Tornadoes. Full court pressure, Freeman runs right down the middle, hit the bottom of the iron, and back the other way comes Gibinor. I'm sorry, that's uh, Dre Ellis. Stolen away by Jackson Young, and then he gets this, the foul as well. Yeah, just the second team foul on the on Anoka here so far. Young working against Pry in the right corner. Cards need to it off to Freeman. It's been a while. Yeah. Tabla up top to Jones and now right side. Young for three. That one's not going to go. Freeman gets the rebound and puts it back. Freeman has six of the Cardinals' eight points. Open look for Ellis as well off the mark. Rebound, bounces around, comes out to Young. Ahead for Tabla behind the defense, kicks it back as he couldn't get it before the basket. Nice baseline drive, drive for Elijah Tabla. He gets two, and we get a timeout. Yeah, and they could certainly use a, a, a contribution from Elijah. Not a, lot of, uh, not a lot of contributions from the senior class here, but that, again, was a nice move on the baseline. Get around, gets around Reeder, goes opposite side. 23-10 in favor of Anoka. When you talk about a very junior-dominated lineup for 
the Cardinals. Elijah Tabla, one of only a couple of seniors on the squad. Jackson Smith, the other. Good news is you're going to have a lot coming back next year. Yes. The, the tough part is there's a lot of growing pains as uh, these guys step into these roles this season. Cooper to prime the corner, back to Cooper, he traveled. Well, this is a situation now the Cardinals have to take advantage of, of these turnovers. Uh, they, they have to go down and they have to score and then they have to get stops because they're a high scoring team. They, you know, nothing is out of the question in terms of getting back into this game, but you've got to be able to stop on defense. Yeah, you talked about it, the highest points against per game in 4A at a little over 82 and a half. Shot by Freeman wouldn't go, it was pretty looking to get him there. Borchers trying to lay it up and in, and he does. In their 10 games this season, they've given up over 103 times. Hook shot won't go for Kenny Jones. Pass down court, batted away by Hetworth, taken by Young. Young trying to work against Padani, kicks it out. Jones for three, that's short. Rebound by Padani. He will lead the charge, right side for Pra. He will lay it up and in. Another and time, another timeout. Yeah. Cardinals calling another timeout. Now, you know, again, back down by 17. They got it down to 13. But a couple of baskets for Anoka has uh, grown that lead back to 17. Just over midway through this first half. The Anoka fans have plenty to cheer about, and they're calling out to their Cardinal hey, counterparts hey. who yes, have been. Are. Quite quiet because they have not had much they to cheer about so far. They certainly have not at this point in the game with 8.44 remaining in the half. And, and it's an unusual situation for Cardinals just to have 10 points at this point in the game. But you know, give credit to Anoka. They've done a nice job. They've, uh, they've hit their shots. They've made good stops defensively. And they've dominated so far here in half number one. And they've moved the ball around. I they mean, have. Donald Pry having a great start to his uh, night. He's got, what, eight, seven, nine points, I think? Uh, Reagan Reader only four points. Borcher has six. But already, you know, Coach Jefferson going relatively deep into his bench. I think he's nine players deep already in the first nine minutes. And a number of different guys have, have shown they can contribute. Tabla inbounds to Freeman. Full court pressure provided by Cooper. Freeman gets around it, kicks it ahead. Young for three. That one won't go either. Rebound tip, but taken by Cooper. Cardinals got some hands on it, but Anoka controls Borchers three well off the mark. Rebound by Jones. Will give and go an open lane for Freeman. He'll take it, but he'll come up short. Reader has the rebound, but then the pass a little too far in front of Borchers, and they'll turn it right back over. And again, the Cardinals are not converting when they've got the opportunities, and, the, and they're going to have to do so because Anoka has been making them pay. And when Anoka doesn't capitalize, the, the Cardinals have to. The Cardinals have to do that if they want to get back into this contest. Jackson Young into the post for Jones, working against Reeder, gets it to Freeman, little hanging jump shot wouldn't go. Belpetio drives baseline and scores. A nice job by Belpetio there just to, to go around inside on the inside and get that basket. Donald Pra high on the right side, up top for Padani. He puts it on the floor, drives left side. And uh, Jackson Young, uh, lucky to not have 
received his third. And then this one is tied up. Possession arrow favoring the Cardinals. Yeah, good job there surrounding Reader. You know, and they don't, the Cardinals know they don't have the size to battle, but they want to try to do it in numbers. And you saw it there, they just didn't let him manip, uh, do anything under the basket. Able to get uh, forced to turn over. With the jump off. Young, baseline. Borchers with the strip. Pushes it ahead to Padani down the left wing. He gets the contact from Belpedio and will go to line and shoot two. So that's going to be foul number 10 on Coon Rapids. Yeah, both teams, uh, as we talked about, coming in trying to end three game losing streaks. This is the start. If you want to get off the Schneid, the start that Anoka is having is the start you need. Oh, absolutely. Cardinals, uh, not so much. Oh, I mean, the confidence uh, on the Anoka sideline is, uh, is huge. Helpable. It's so high. It's so high. Panani able to hit the second one. It's a 16 point lead. Quickly to the other end. Reeder with the block, but they're going to call it. Can they call it foul? No, they're gonna oh, no. they're gonna call it goaltending. Yeah. yeah. That's the right call. Oh, it's definitely it's the like right call. Very great effort from Reagan Reader. Well, when you're six seven, you can do those kind of things. Three-pointer for Borchers won't fall. Long rebound taken by Dre Ellis. In the middle, Cooper nearly stripped. Ball comes loose. Great save by Borchers. Reader hangs and able to hit the little jumper. Leads at 16 for the Tornadoes. Ellis going to be called as he got some contact. Freeman maybe leaning in a little bit. Reagan Reader will take a breather. Team well, up comfortably 30-14. Yeah. Young in traffic. Pride loose. Belpedio able to recover for the Cardinals. Three-pointer for Freeman is short. Rebound by Padani. Pushes it up court. Ibekwe is fouled. He will go to the line and shoot two. Is that on Young? Would be his third. No, nope. nope. they're going to give it to Jerry Freeman. Yep. That's just his first foul. But that double bonus situation. First one is off the mark. Jibinor back into the contest. Ibekwe hits the second. Shot won't fall. Belpedio has the rebound, but in traffic, he's going to be fouled. Based on the reaction, Borchers, the guilty partner, party, although he disagrees. Which is shocking, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's Borcher's first, the fourth team foul on the Tornadoes. That one kicked by Padani. We'll try again. Inbound to Jones, his shot wouldn't go. Ellis has the rebound for Anoka. Yeah, I, I don't know what the shot percentage is for Coon Rapids, but uh, it's not very good. That shot won't go for Padani. Rebound Jones, Young the other way. Working against Borchers, finds some room on the baseline, and then 
kicking it out. Borchers will pick up his second one quickly. Cooper back in for the Tornadoes. Will give and go, but not enough room for Neopan. His pass taken away by Padani. Padani will run straight down the lane, get contact, and head back to the free throw line. Turnovers, fouls. Missed opportunities, missed shots. It's uh, kind of been the MO so far tonight for Coon Rapids. Kai John Cummings Coleman back on the floor. C squared with just a bucket, two points. Banani hits them both. Well below his 28.3 uh, points a game average. Trying to slice through the defense and does. Shot comes up short. The rebound by Ibekwe. Ahead for Ellis. Ellis cuts into the middle. His shot won't fall. Rebound by Jibinar. Nice save behind the line. And at the other end, Cummings Coleman. How do you miss that foul? Hung on him like a Christmas tree ornament. That shot won't go. Rebound tip to Young. Young spins away, and then the pass out of the reach of Jerry Freeman in the lane. Right now, more questions than answers for Coon Rapids. Ellis inbounds to Padani and then gets it back into the front court. Cooper left side, back up top to Padani. Crow with a lot of room. Three-pointer won't go. Rebound to Cummings Coleman. Thought about the shot, drew the defense, but then drives and misses. Reader pushes it to Cooper. Cooper will take it in, get the foul on Jones, and go to the line to shoot two. The Cardinals can't buy a bucket. Their shooting percentage is, uh, again, I, I don't even want to think about calculating it. Cooper, one of two, but a 20-point lead. Followed by Freeman, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And you're, even when they do get good opportunities, which hasn't been as prevalent as they would like, Cardinal is now in the bonus situation. But uh, when they have those good opportunities, they just aren't falling. No. And again, they're just, they're just so cold from the field. Let's take another look. Was that goaltending, Joe Young? Jackson Young thought so. I kind of think it was. Let's see if that ball's coming down. Happened quickly. Reeder does average a block and a half per game. Oh yeah, no, he's... Uh... 
He's a solid player. Big block from Jackson Young at the other end, but he beat Beckway, stays with it, got it to Reeder, and he gets the roll on the fadeaway. Freeman dishes it to Cummings Coleman. He gets the foul on Reagan Reeder and will go to the line and shoot two. That's his second personal. Heisel checking in his first minutes of the night. Reagan Reader, a brief respite. Cummings Coleman hits them both. Under four minutes to go in the first half. Badani ahead for Pra. Spins to the left side. He likes it over there. Back to Cooper, lost it off his own knee. Rebound recovered by the Cardinals. Cummings Coleman spins around Padani, but can't get it to fall. Ibekwe ahead, Pra behind the defense, lays it up and in. And more fast break points for the Tornadoes. Three pointer for Jones is short. Long rebound and out of bounds to Anoka. Jordan, third Jordan coming back in. I, you know, again, just uh, no, nothing is falling for Coon Rapids tonight. And then, as you mentioned, that fast break points for Noka. They, they take advantage of the opportunity. Jordan in the post, turns to the left hand, won't fall. Cummings Coleman gets the foul on Cooper and will go to the line to shoot two. Yeah. And these are important shots here. You're down by 21. Yeah, and you talked about it. Not only do they need some baskets to fall, but they need some stops. Yeah, defense. And Anoka is having their way well over uh, you know, their average, they came in averaging less than 60 right. a game. And right now uh, at 38, still three minutes to go in the first half. Another open look for three, Beckway comes up empty. Coming Schoolman has the rebound to the other end. That shot won't go, he Beckway has the rebound, able to work his way out of traffic. Pass was a little behind Prague, gets his man in the air, gets the foul and that'll be number two on Jerry Freeman. Yeah, Jerry Freeman, Freeman went up to try and do something and, and uh, just kind of st stood there and took the contact. As Pra stood, stood his ground. Pra has a dozen points for Anoka. Now, so far, you know, Coach O talked about how we have to, how his squad has to be better defensively, and they haven't done so here tonight. They, their defensive woes continue. Well, and they have not scored from the floor nope. in close to five minutes. Well, and you know, in the way the you last look, basket or field goal that they were credited for was the goaltend against yep. Reeder. The last, uh, the, the last thing you're going to think you have to be concerned about is the fact that Coon Rapids is not going to score points because they have scored points. Unfortunately, not this evening. They've, they've had a lot of opportunities around the rim, but they haven't got, had not gotten shots to fall. 
And there's where we stand with 2.49 remaining in the opening half, a 38 to 19 lead for Anoka, and they're looking to build on it from the stripe. Crowd with a dozen, as I mentioned. Couple of free throws. Not able to get the first one to go. Well, and the, Anoka's got, what, a dozen points from the free throw yeah. line at least? At least. Make it 11, and as Prom misses them both, Cardinals control the rebound. Belpedio drives right side and scores. And the Cardinals need to get some stops. This make get some points before the end of the of this half. Try and cut into this lead a little bit before the break. Pry an open look from that left corner. This time, not able to find the center of the iron. Cummings Coleman. Showing his skills, jump shot is good. He you know, can create space, can he? He can, and he can take over a game as well when he's on, which is usually often. You don't average almost 30 points a game if you're not on night after night. Pra, a little fake, steps inside. 16-foot jump shot won't fall. Rebound out of bounds, last touched by the tornado. Yeah, again, the, this is what they need to do. Get stops, then go down and score points. Only way you're going to cut into the lead. You can't trade baskets. Freeman drives, shot won't go. The rebound controlled by Gibinor. Hands it off to Padani, and he'll slowly take his time getting across Center court, under 90 seconds to go. Padani drives, left-hand shot won't go. Hetworth's rebound ripped away. Gibinor puts it back home. Uh, Gibinor with just a really solid defensive play to rip that, turn the defense to offense. Hetworth for three, that won't go. Padani the rebound. Again, Cardinals can't buy buckets from the outside. Pra, another open look for three. Won't go, Ellis gets to the long rebound. Anoka just out hustling Coon Rapids. Punched away by Cummings Coleman, but right to Pry. Side steps and hits another three pointer. Back to a 20 point lead. Freeman steps back from the top of the arc, can't get it to go. Gibinor ran into Cummings Coleman, ball loose. Scramble on the floor, Cummings Coleman bounces it off of the Anoka player out of bounds. And Dre Ellis shaking up a little bit. That got the ire of the... Let's see where he hit, where he got it. Oh, right off the top of his head. I mean, I, I, like, the, I like the thought by Coming Coleman because well, and it's the only way Anoka you're get the, wanted to call, the ball but technically nothing to leak about no, it. It's a nothing. hustle play, trying to get it out of bounds off of your competitor. I know he didn't try to, to put it off his head. That wasn't his intent. Freeman tripped up trying to get to the lane. He'll go to the line for free throws. Third foul on Dre Ellis. Freeman hits from the line. Freeman able to convert on both. Cooper in traffic, tried to bounce it out off of Freeman and did.
Cummings Coleman and Padani getting tangled up. Padani threw Cummings Coleman to the floor. Cummings Coleman asking for the technical. It's not going to be a tech. Another look at it. Cummings Coleman may have acted a He's, little bit. He, I think he did, but hey, got the call. And it is a Cardinals are in the double bonus, yep. so it will be a two shot foul. 18.7 left. Coach Jefferson asking for an explanation. Padani there pleading his case as well. Coleman can't get the second one to go. The rebound controlled by Jivinor. He is fouled. No, his team tied the ball up. They called a tie up. Oh, a tie up. Yep. So the Cardinals will win on the possession arrow. Was Dan, darn TV microphones getting in the way, <laughs> tying up the. Inbound goes to Cummings. Coleman, shot won't fall. He'll get back to the line and shoot two more. He has nine points. There's a scoreboard behind us. Hey, look at that. I know. Look at that scoreboard. It's a nice scoreboard. Just can't see it from us. We got our back to it. Well, they put us in the cheap sheet they did. seats, and, and rightly so. Yeah, well. Surprised we're not in the basement watching it off a of feed. <laughs> Cummings Coleman hits them both this time. Ibekwe right side for Cooper. Three pointer won't go. The rebound by Hetworth. Under five seconds to go. Hetworth down the right side. At the buzzer, it's going to come up short. And the Cardinals are going to go to the lock locker room down by 15. Anoka storm to an early lead, and they have a comfortable 43-28 bulge as they head to the locker room. We'll take a break and be back with first half stats and highlights after this on CTF. to a big lead, somewhat dominant first half for the home team. They got out early and got things going. Cardinals, after that uh, long jump shot from Jerry Freeman, didn't uh, get a lot of those shots to fall for him. And at the other end, uh, they know the rims here. And uh, the Tornadoes lit it up. They had four three-pointers in the first half, three of them from Donald Pra. Reeder and Borchards, their two leading scorers, relatively quiet in that first half. Six and seven points. 
six for Borchers and seven for Reeder in that first half. Now Pra leads all scores with 16 points. They push that lead up to 21 points. Cardinals able to uh, get the last handful before the break, get back within 15, but a lot of heavy lifting to do. Yeah, they really do. I actually love to be a fly in the locker room in, in Coon Rapids locker room because I know Coach O's not happy, but Anoka came out in this game with the with the, the biggest amount of fire, and they and they really proved it. They did a really nice job offensively. They did a great job on defense in Coon Rapids, and you can't say that for the Cardinals because defensively, that's where they lacked in this in this first half. Plus, the Cardinals missed a fair amount of shots inside close, and percentage-wise, that's typically not what they do. But uh, that that for the fact that they get one shot done on a possession, and Anoka's been paying paying attention to that and they've been able to come down and score off those off those misses. Tornadoes head coach Jesse Jefferson said it'll come down to who wants it more. His team definitely wanted it more in the first half. Will the Cardinals match that desire in the second? We'll find out after a break on CTF. Back at Anoka High School, just about ready to get the second half underway. Anoka will start with the ball and that 15 point lead. We'll see what kind of adjustments the Cardinals were able to make. Definitely need a step up on defense. And just a little more luck on offense right. at the same time, get some of those shots to fall. They were, as you mentioned, they were getting themselves into good spots, just not able to get it to fall. Pra underneath, Reeder alone throws it down. Yeah, again, just a breakdown on the backside of the defense for Coon Rapids. Nobody there to trouble them. Atwer, open look for three at the other end. Won't go, Reeder gets the rebound, but then lost it and Freeman drops it in. Again, can't trade baskets. Stops are so important. Down by 15. Hetwer got a hand in, couldn't quite get the steal. Cummings Coleman had a hand on the pass, but Pra, an open look wow. and another three pointer. He's got 19. Yeah, Hetwer from way outside, no good. Pra averaging six points a game, so he's uh, well above his average here tonight. Padani driving and gets the foul on Freeman. And that's something we didn't talk about in the intermission is uh, a lot of fouls for the Cardinals. Yeah. Nobody in, that's, a, that's the first Cardinal player with three fouls. But uh, I mean, they put Anoka into the double bonus before the midway point of that first half. But Andy hits them both. 50-30. Belpedio down in front of the defense. Do they call that on Reader? Well, I'm not sure what they're... What do they call? Calling, they say the basket counts. There's a push. That's it Reader's is third. number three yep. on Reagan Reader. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. There didn't seem like a lot of contact there, but officials are discussing it. That's gonna stand. And that's pretty close to the first. Oh, there it is. Oh, he pushed Jordan from behind. Yeah. Okay. 
And that's pretty close to the first fast break points of the night for Coon yeah. Rapids. Nice feed, but the finish comes up empty for Connor Jordan. Well, we saw a lot of that in the first half, just not finishing the ball. Pra at the other end is able to score. Cummings Coleman trying to go right over Reader. Reader, Reader, Reader is fouled. And intentional. Yeah, we'll see it. You get, yeah, and he leaned his shoulder and pushed him. And so that's four on Reader. So he gets a, a couple of technical foul shots all by himself. First one rolls across the top. Able to hit the second. Inbound goes to Cummings Coleman up top, watched by Cooper, nearly lost the handle. Jumps into a three-point shot, won't fall. Rebound tipped, controlled by Padani, pushes it up court. Pra behind the defense, can't score. Jordan has it for the Cardinals. And Hetward now. Connor Jordan will put it on the floor, spin to the left hand and score. Yeah, nice little job, created some space for himself. He is 17. Jibinar driving with the left hand and scoring. Cummings Coleman kicks it out, but he's going to be called for the offensive foul as Cooper had possession. Position. I'm sorry, Jibinar. Yep. That's his third. That's pretty well set. Yeah. I think Co set. Cummings Coleman is arguing that he was actually run over by Jibinor. It was uh, Cooper that was on the floor that took the foul. Three-pointer for Prow won't fall. Cooper will try. He will hit it. Tried to draw the contact, but he'll take the three. Jordan in the post, goes to the left hand, comes up short, rebound tipped out of bounds by Borchers. Jordan high on the right side to Hetwer in the corner. They work the perimeter. Freeman, a little pump fake. Looking for an entry, can't find it. Backs away from Padani. Nice pass. Jordan couldn't quite handle it. Pra had it momentarily, lost it. Belpedio trying to slice through the defense, gets the contact from Jibinor, and will go to the line issue two. Uh, Cardinals again. They're not. Uh, they're not doing what they need to do here in the second half to to climb back into this. I mean, they're getting some buckets, but they're just. But they're giving up buckets as well. Ellis, Ibekwe, both into the game for Anoka. 
Well, that one just hung on the rim, but would not fall down. Jibinar got the rebound and got it to Panani. Into the corner, up top for Borchers. Working against Hetworth. Gray Ellis to Padani, he'll drive, and he'll be called for the charge. Jackson Young getting position and taking the contact. Four team fouls on, uh, on Anoka here in the second half. Baseline drive for Young was cut off. He spins out and scores. Yeah, he was defended, and then the defense left him, and he was able to make that spin move. Danny lost it, got it back, got it to Borchers. Tornadoes reset the offense. Ellis hands it off. He beat Beckway back and gets it back. Now Padani, his pass deflected by Young. Belpedio on the run behind the defense. And Jibinor is going to be called for the foul. Belpedio going back to the free throw line. Foul on the play. Pedio hits one of two. Jibinor has the rebound. And Anoka on the run again. Ellis down low to Ibekwe. Underneath, Jibinor kicks it out. Padani for three, it's good. Yeah, they're picking up where they left off uh, in the first half, Anoka. They're doing a really nice job of continuing to build this lead. Back to 21. See, and another foul, and the fouls almost flip-flopped from the first half, where we saw Coon right. Rapids committing a lot of early fouls. And Anoka staying pretty clean. Freeman kicks it out, Belpedio in the corner, back to Freeman, steps back for three. Gets every part of the rim but the inside. The rebound by Hoheisel. Borchers. Lost it to Hetwer, ahead for Freeman. Kicks it back, Hetwer for three, that's not gonna go. Padani tracks down the rebound in the corner. And Ellis, Borchers for three, that won't go. Holheisel has the rebound and he gets fouled. Nice kick save by Dave Emmy. He's you know, got all kinds of skill. He doesn't even have to look. He's just, it's that natural reaction. Oh, it's right by my left foot. Just moves the left foot a little bit. He's quick like a cat. It was number three on Jackson Smith. Borchers spins, has room. Three-pointer is good. Freeman looking for room, gets it underneath to Smith, kicks it back out, stolen away by Ibekwe, but couldn't control it and kicks it out of bounds. Kenny Jones back in for the Cardinals. Jivinor will check back in. Cummings Coleman is going to re-enter for the Cardinals. Yeah. 
Inbound goes to Young. Into the middle for Cummings. Coleman, bucket and the foul. And Jiminar, who just checked back in, will pick up his fourth. And that's two of the big men for Anoka yep. with four each. Cummings Coleman left it short. Great play by Jackson Young no, for think, effort, but uh, yeah. they say he stepped on the yeah. uh, out of bounds before the play, trying to play it off with Jibinar, I believe it was. Cooper will bring it up court for the Tornadoes. Borchers cross. Borchers for three. That won't go. Pra jumps on the rebound, and the Tornadoes reset on offense. Yeah, Noka just doing a much better job of hustling to the loose basketball, although this time they turn it over. Beckway's pass a little bit out of reach for Pra. Elijah Tabla back in for the Cardinals. Go for the alley-oop and it's just out of reach and Cummings Coleman lost his shoe again. Able to come back and tip that <laughs> ball away though from Cooper. That delay for the shoe might have just put him right on time. Three-pointer for Jones won't go. Rebound controlled by Padani. Jones nearly stripped it away from him. But Padani able to get it right back. Into the corner for Borchers. Underneath, Frecking has it stripped away. Loose ball controlled by Cooper. Cooper is fouled by Young. And that, uh, that has been how this ball game has gone. Uh, just not a lot of flow. Nope. Neither team really is. I mean, Anoka has definitely been in control for more of the contest, but they haven't a lot, had a lot of rhythm. There's been a lot of those loose balls, a lot of fouls. Uh, and Coach O talks about structure on defense, and he has not seen that from his squad here tonight. Prow is trapped in the corner. Coach Jefferson calls timeout to keep possession. That lead at, uh, at 22 for the Tornadoes. And, you know, again, we talked about they picked up where they left off in that first half. And again, continue to apply pressure, good solid defense. They're hitting their shots, and they're able to make that lead grow. See him on the roster, but I swore I saw the Jelly Dog on the Anoka basketball staff. Oh, really? Coaching staff. The Jelly Dog. The sad thing is, I don't remember his name. If he uh, said it, I'd be like, yep, that's it. But I will forever remember Jelly Dog. I'll think of it. About three in the morning. Is that not him sitting right I, behind I, well, the bench? It certainly looks like him. I think it is. Have you, and have you ever tried uh, to, to see what, uh, you know, if you, you're more of a strawberry with your hot dog or a grape? No, I'm more of a marmalade guy. Yeah. <laughs> but have you tried it? No, actually, with, I have never tried it. Jelly? I, I, would, I would think I'd try it with probably grape because I'm kind of partial to grape. I do appreciate the grape. Three-pointer for Borchers won't go. And if I remember right, he said that was his favorite was the grape. 
See, loose ball just kind of bouncing around and it finds Padani and he puts it home. Three-pointer for Tabla is short. Long rebound to Cooper. He's got Borchers with him behind the back. Borchers can't finish. Rebound loose. Belpedio gets it to Cummings Coleman. Trying to get around Cooper. Pra there to help. Out to Tabla. In the corner for Young. In the post is Jones. Out to Cummings Coleman. Fadeaway is good. He has 16. Borchers dumps it into the middle for Frecking, and the foul is going to be called on Belpedio for the reach. Three-pointer for Padani is good. This lead continues to grow for Anoka. As again, they're just uh, they're hitting their shots, especially the ones from beyond the arc. Four three-pointers in the first half for Coach Jefferson's squad. Four more in the second. They try and. Go for the Hail Mary, a little, uh, trying to set up a little hook and ladder. And it kind of worked. It led to the foul on Evan Frecking. One of my Frecking favorite players of all time. <laughs> Gotta be careful there. <laughs> no Belpedio at the line, able to hit the first. And out goes Evan Frecking. Belpedio hits them both. Still a 23 point lead for the Anoka Tornadoes. Belpedio got a hand in. What a hustle play by Belpedio. It does not lead to a turnover. And Cummings Coleman called for oh. the foul as he tried to disrupt the pass. That's, was that four? It yeah. is? It's fourth. Cummings Coleman with the steal. Down court against Borchers, takes him to the hole, but comes up short. Padani was trying to keep it alive along the baseline. Last touch by the Cardinals. Beckway is fouled. The bucket will count. He hung there a long time and adjusted. Draws the contact and still oh, looked like Kenny Jones got an awful lot of leather. Yeah. Beckway gets his second. And it's hard really to find any rhythm when it's yeah. foul, free throws, foul, free yeah, throws, foul, free yeah, throws. Definitely. 
Let's go have a couple free throws at this end. Let's go have a couple at the other end. The miss, but the put back by Kenny Jones. The back way gets it across. Padani ahead for Pra. A little head fake. Drives, and he's getting them all the roll home. Yeah, he's, he's, had a, he's had an excellent evening. He has 23. Cummings Coleman three pointer won't go. Jibinar had the rebound. And Andy Long for Ibekwe. Pra trying to save and does. Borchers gets it up top to Padani, gets it back in the corner. Pra with an open look. He hit another one. Yeah, why not? He's feeling it. He is definitely having a night. Six three-pointers in the second half for the Anoka Tornadoes. Couple of them for Pra. The other four, well, two for Padani. I was going to say the other four from four different guys, but two for Padani, two for Pra. Borchers and Cooper also hitting from behind the arc. Cummings Coleman crossing over, backdoor feed. And Aloysius Neopan puts it home. Oh, that Cummings Coleman jumps up, gets another steal. Neopan left side, up top, and Belpedio will get it to Jackson Young. Great block by Reagan Reeder. At this point, let Reeder play with his four personal. The lead is so large. Three-pointer in and out for Ellis, but he got his own rebound, gets a foul, and will go to the line to shoot two. Again, there's just no hustle on defense for the Cardinals. That's an opportunity they should have had the defensive rebound, but they did not. Just not in position where they need to be, and you allow, you allow him, Jan Ellis, to come in and, and get that opportunity, and now, now a chance to earn him with the strike. Hits them both. 28 point lead. Again, got, the Cardinals getting in close to the rim and coming up empty. I've never seen him miss so many shots in close like that. Another scramble on the floor, but Neopan, as he rolled over, called for the travel, so it'll be an Oka ball. That pass deflected, probably able to come back to it. Borchers, an open look. Another three-pointer. Wow. Unconscious. This is the largest uh, scoring output of the year for the Tornadoes with 80 points so far. I believe 76 was their, their next highest. Three-pointer for Cummings. Coleman won't fall. Ellis has the rebound, tipped away out of bounds. We see the time remaining in this second half, 5.32, and it's been all Anoka. Yeah, the lead at 31 points now. And that's got to be 
one of the lower scoring outputs for the Cardinals oh, as well. You have that right there. Where, where I do. You? I'm just here we go. So the lowest that they've had, uh, they've had they were 61 in, against Robinsdale Armstrong. Yeah, so it definitely it definitely is. Well, it's still five and so, a half well, there's minutes plenty of to time. play, but it is so far is what I'm saying. Neopan called for the push as he tried to get some separation from Dre Ellis. Yeah, th things are just not going Coon Rapids way here tonight, not from the, the jump. Mari Hibbler delays and then tied up as he drove into the lane and is called for the travel. You know, when we were talking before the game with Coach Jefferson, he said, well, these two guys, their numbers aren't right on here. Yeah, they wouldn't play. But they won't play. Yeah, did he lie to you? I said, yeah, I, I've heard those. I've heard that before. But uh, Cummings Coleman trying to fly in off the turnover and coming up empty. I believe that's Quenty wearing number 32 and not 33 on your roster. And travel. a travel by Belpedio. And I'm not sure who the 33 is because he said that might be Bro Brody Lackanen. I'm not sure. <laughs> Again, I was specifically told, well, well those we, guys, those jersey yeah, numbers are was, I was, It won't matter. They won't get it. I was standing there when he said it. So that means these two young men. A three-pointer for Dre Ellis, and the place erupts. Yeah, just unconscious. This, this Anoka team is, uh, I, I would assume that Coach Jefferson, this has been our best game of the year. Well, what a time to have it against yep. a, a rival, conference and section rival at home. Jackson Young able to get... Uh, is that Xavier again? Bonifacius? Bonifacius? Yeah, it's his cousin. 33? Xander Bonifacius. <laughs> I should have listened to <laughs> the name they announced for the foul. Uh, Young rolled it around the inside of the iron, but it does not touch the nylon. Young able to get that one to go. Hibbler works his way down low. The shot is short, but he gets the foul and will go to line issue two. on the first for Jamari Hibbler. Missed them both. Cardinals with good position on the rebound. Freeman running, tripped up a little bit and then fouled and we'll go back to the line to shoot two more. If that is Brody Lackanen, yeah. 
He's the second freshman on the floor tonight for Coach Jefferson. We've seen a lot of Dre Ellis. He's had a nice game. He hasn't had a nice game, definitely. Nice move for Nia Pan to get to the rebound. But Anelka was called for a lane violation. Second chance goes, so Freeman able to go two for two from the line. But a 30 plus point lead for the Tornadoes allows them to get deep into their roster. Three pointer won't fall for Dominic Bakit. And a foul underneath on the rebound goes against. Oh no, it just went out of bounds. Oh, it yeah, it did go out of bounds. Jeremy Adi in for the Cardinals as they open up their bench a little bit. Now down by 30 plus under 40 to, or under four minutes to go. That shot short. Good put back by Connor Jordan. Just got a uh, score in from Highlights Hennon. The uh, Cardinal girls dropped uh, their game 62-45. And uh, he said it was closer than the score indicated. That shot won't fall. The rebound. Underneath by Clay Bernard. Well, and that's that's good because they've they've lost uh, by some hefty margins the last couple of games, and tonight's game against uh, an Anoka team that that came in I think at like ten and three, something yeah. along those lines. Uh, a pretty pretty heavily favored squad, so keeping it close is. Good to see for yeah, the lady it, cards. It is. Uh, I believe their last two games went 31 and 24 points. So for them to score 45, and it's a uh, it, it's a good it's a good good thing for the Cardinals girls squad. And it certainly would like to get the W, but they'll take it against that good Anoka squad. Bernard hits one of two. Young brings it up court for the Cardinals, trying to get around Hibbler on the left side. Good look underneath to Adi. Kicks it out. To Hetwer on the baseline underneath. Connor Jordan, the bucket and the foul. Uh, Jordan kind of just pushed that one up and it, uh, it was able to roll in. The keep picking up his first. Yeah, nice little dish from Hetwer. Jordan able to convert on the three-point play under three minutes to go. Hibbler into the middle, stripped away by Hetwer. Hibbler jumps the passing lane, gets it right back for the Tornadoes. Jordan had a piece of that. Hibbler able to get the rebound, punched away by Adi. Hetwer into the front court. Jackson Young kicks it out. Adi in the corner, spinning on the baseline, needs some help. Bounce pass, tipped away, break for Bernard, and he will lay it in at the other end. Yeah, able to beat the defense down to the other end of court. And again, fast break plays and plays in transition, an area that the Cardinals normally excel at, and Anoka has definitely had the advantage in that area all night, and another one where now Hetwer lays it up right at the rim and somehow it does not fall through. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that from Coon Rapids tonight, unfortunately. Ryan Tatkenhorst, number 40 out there, the third freshman yeah. into the game hey, well, for Coach, Coach uh, Jefferson tonight. Uh, and we're gonna see we're gonna see some uh, younger players coming in, some of the JV squad for the Cardinals as well. Capri Palmer. 
Tegan Plowman Tate. Raymond Bennett. And Bennett's one that we've seen get a lot of playing time earlier in the season. Yep. And you know, an opportunity. It's hard to get fired up to go into a game with you know less than two minutes to go and down by 30, but this is an opportunity for some of these guys. They, with a team that's struggling a little bit, especially on the defensive end, it's a, to when you get your opportunity, you've got to take it no matter the situation. Rebound tipped around, out of bounds. Smartly played by Bennett off of the foot of, I believe, Brody Lackanen. Yeah. It, it, again, could be Xander Bonifacius. <laughs> no, the Bonifacius family, man, they're all over the place. Nice little play down tight for Hibbler. Palmer's shot won't fall. The rebound by Nick Quinty. Hibbler falling, threw it right to Al Neopan. He drives the length of the floor and gets it to fall. And Neopan with a quick move to the basket, able to get it to drop, as you mentioned. And we're under a minute remaining in this contest. And Cardinals are going to drop to four and seven. Three pointer from Tatkenhorst wouldn't fall. Adi. Nearly too tall for Palmer, able to adjust to it, drive, get the bucket, and the foul. Tacking horse picking up his second. Uh, were was, they were conversing about something, not sure what. So, well, the, the announcer said shooting two, but it was a yeah, plus it was, one it was situation, plus one. and no one went for the rebound, so they called that a jump ball. It was... Cardinal ball on the. Oh, we'll try again. 39 <laughs> Let's seconds do this over. Left. Inbound to Plowman Tate. They move it around. Adi driving on the right side off the glass. Won't go. Palmer couldn't get the rebound. And Adi trying to save it, but had already. Touched out of bounds, so. Yeah, Plumman Tate, one of those younger players, just a sophomore. Uh, had, you know, we've had an opportunity to see him at the JV level. He's performed well. well and he and came up in, in one of the games we did yep. at the end that, yep. that was a little bit lopsided and had some nice baskets as well. He's got some nice length to him. He does. He's listed at 6'1", but he looks a little taller than that. Quinty. As the tornado is just running this one out. Adira Farah handling it at the end. Another player most likely wouldn't play tonight. Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, I, I don't think either coach would have expected it to end the way that it did. So one sided in favor of either team. Agreed. Um, and you'd think in a higher scoring affair, the uh, the Cardinals would be the slight favorite because they tend to be a higher scoring squad coming in. So I believe the 61 ties that lowest output offensively for Coon Rapids on the season here so far. I thought it was 62. 
Maybe you're right. I think it was 61. I'll believe you. Yeah. Well, you know, I forget something I said two minutes ago, so it's like there's a chance that I was wrong. And by far, Anoka's best, as you mentioned, they had not gotten to 80 points in a game yet this season. And they blow past it with 88. Yeah, 80 to 61, losing to Arm Robbins or Armstrong. So this is definitely ties for their lowest output of the evening, some of the season. Something I know Coach O, that man right there, uh, not happy with the performance of his team. And you know, he, he's probably scratching his head what he needs to do to continue to go forward and, and try and get this team on the right path because they're talented. There's no question about that, but uh, they need to play def much better defensively. Cardinals definitely going back to the drawing board. We will go back to the wrestling mat on Thursday, a try me with Albert Lee and Champlin Park. Live coverage starts at 5 o'clock. We'll have boys hockey on Saturday, an afternoon affair at the Ice House at Fogarty Ice Arena against the Blaine Bengals. And then girls basketball next Tuesday, Cardinals taking on the Aussie Orioles. That's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, Anoka 88, Coon Rapids 61. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young. Say goodnight.